Yo, what's good guys, Coach the Tech here. So today we got another AIOTA review. Now this one is from Ago. This is actually pretty dope. Uh, man, it's like I got a lot to talk about. First of all, everything is in Chinese, which is pretty fire. I'm not sure if this is, I got it, I basically cop it on Amazon for hundred bucks. This is the AT240, it comes in black and white. It comes in a 360 version and in a 240 version. I got the 240 version. Anyways, we got the booklet over here. I'm gonna peel this plastic in a few and basically I wanna talk about the product. I just wanna let you know, guys, like when you first get it, at least when I copped on Amazon, like your booklet is here, the instructional guide. But uh, let me quickly just peel all this off and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about officially about the product. All right, so let's talk about the user, user manual first. I went beast mode on it, so my bad. This is the AT240, like I said, it comes in black and white. It comes in 360 and 240 versions, which I did mention. Uh, the user manual, I wanna say it is in English. Let me see. This is uh, material bill, Intel. Okay, so this one is Intel. It tells you about AMD. It tells you the bracket to use for Intel. It tells you the back plate to use for Intel. Oh no, I'm sorry, it tells you the back plate and how to basically put in for the Intel, which is nice. Warning, warning, re remove the plastic, yes, thermal paste. And then it tells you the Intel bracket, which is nice. And then I think if we turn it around here, uh, okay, cool. So it gives you a breakdown of the AMD bracket as well to use over here, which is dope. So it gives you that. It gives you the retention screws on how to put it in. Now, I am curious, the AMD bracket. Okay, I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta open it up and see if there's a back plate for it. And it basically runs through everything of how to install everything, so which is pretty dope. And nice, listen, if, you know, if, especially if you're a product like um, Ego, I'm not sure if this is Ego Dark Flash or just Ego Standalone, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what they did there with the marketing, but if you're a company like that, you always wanna make your product, you know, the literature, the, the, the aesthetic of the product, looking better than your competitor, you know, the big boys, you know, you have the EVGAs, your Corsairs, your ASUS's, your NZXT, you wanna throw in a little more and keep that price competitive or actually even lower, lower at 100 bucks. And, and a 360 version is gonna run you like 110 or 120. Prices always change on Amazon, just I'm gonna have the links in the description below and you guys can check it out. But when I was saying the Chinese literature, yo, that shit is so fire, bro, look at this. Like this is dope. I have no idea what it says, but it just looks dope, man. Like, I wish I wish they're gonna keep it like this. You know, they're gonna have their Chinese, um, the Chinese lettering here, and uh, the 240 and make it in English as well. But anyways, box is absolutely fire with the presentation. We have the Ego logo. Now it does, see, this is nice. It does work with all these softwares, which is nice. We have Aura, we have um, Gigabyte, we have MSI, and we have uh, ASRock Polychrome. Nice, already broken down for you guys to basically see. And it says with an addressable five, um, three pin five volt header, which is dope. Uh, we have the, uh, the, the name of it here. Now here everything, <laughs> here everything is broken down. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if they were selling the the Chinese version for the, for the you know for their market on Amazon. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm not sure if all the units are like this that come like this. Let me know in the comments below because I'm not sure whatsoever. Now for specs, uh, it's not in English. It's just here in Mandarin or which other, whichever other. I know there's a second language. Let me know in the comments. I don't want to you know disrespect anyone, but we keep it just we just say it's in Chinese. Uh, basically everything is broken down. I'm not. I mean we got 120 fans that I know. Uh, the fans go up to, I want to say these are the fans. Man, Google Translator would have been nice right now. Just scan this and we're going now. But anyways, 220, uh, 2,200 RPM. Anyways, I'll have everything in the description below, basically about the specs and whatnot. But very nice, very nice presentation, I got to say. Uh, let's pop them, let's pop it out. Now, I did get the white version. It's just easier to show off when you're doing a product review, at least in my sense, to get the white version over the black version. Okay, and then we have a... Another booklet here. Okay, and I think this is in Chinese. I think that was a different. I think one booklet is in English, and then we have a booklet here is in Chinese. Let me see, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's cool. So we have a booklet in Chinese and we have a booklet in English. All right, nice. That's dope. Okay, I'm not gonna put this back in. There's not gonna be no luck for that. Very nice. This is what I'm talking about. Very, very nice packaging. Like I said earlier, if you're competing with the big boys, make the packaging, make the presentation A1, all right? Go out, go all out, make it look dope. It's just, it's better, it's an advertised product. What I'm doing right now is basically giving you cats free publicity in this product as well. But look at the presentation, man. Keep it up like this, this is what I'm talking about. So we have the accessory box over here, which is compartmentalized, which I like. Makes things a lot easier. We have the fans, the Ego fans. These shits look nice. Whoa, these are nice. I am excited for these. 
And like I said, I'm not sure if this is Dark Flash or Ego. Like, I don't know if they went separate ways. So again, whatever you cats know, help me out in the comments. This is a nice fat looking pump. Let's just pop this bad boy out. All right, so let's look at the accessories first. Please uh, let everything be labeled. Ah, man, if they make everything labeled, they won. Oh, shit, everything might be labeled. All right, so, all right, so fuck it. We're gonna go into it. Oh, whew, not too bad, yo, not, not too bad. You know, coach's smell test. Uh, we have basically the hub over here uh, with the magnet, very similar to the uh, the Vitro V360 Lurker AIO I reviewed. You guys do remember, you get this hub over here, you plug in all the fans, it has a magnet, and this is a reset switch. Does it tell you? Yeah, well, it says SW or MS. SW for switch, but this is a reset switch. You could, instead of you restarting your computer with that reset switch, you're gonna plug it in here and you could cycle through the colors. And this is just a mode here, color, I believe a color setting it to change as well. And this is the ARGB connector, your three, your three pin five volt. And this is the SATA connector. Let's keep that there, let's move that there. That's what I'm talking about. See, Vitro didn't do this, man. I hope they did it right, yo. I hope they did it right. So this is the bracket which I was talking about. I wish they had a labeled. Um, I, this bracket is only for Intel, I want to say. And this is the AM4 screw. So yeah, I, this is uh, your 20XX. Your Okay, so these are basically your Intel. We have thermal paste over here. We have different screws over here. And then we have, oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, it's exactly the same as Vitro. Very similar. So then we have our brackets. I wish they actually would have uh, labeled them here, which bracket is which. Let's see if they did. Uh, let me see. So unfortunately, they did not. But... I want to say that, see, I'm not sure. I got to look through the manual to see. I want to say this is AMD. This might be AMD and this might be Intel or I might be completely wrong, but I got to check in the manual. I think I'm right. I think kosher is too experienced to be wrong. I hope, man, I just, I just caught myself there. My God, my comments are probably gonna roast me. But anyways, one is AMD, one is Intel. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna show you guys later once I'm putting everything in to let you know which one is which. So we're gonna keep that. So the brackets are not labeled, but uh, everything else is labeled, which is nice. So yeah, I gotta do the installation process to let you guys know how to basically install all of this. But that's there, this is the, the back plate. And then this is the two-way fan splitter, since only two fans, which I got, it's two-way. And if you buy the 360 version, you'll get a three-header uh, three, um, three fan splitter. My God, I can't speak. And just plug this into a four-pin uh, four PWM connector. Oh, that fell. But anyway, yo, these fans, man. Oh, yo, these fans looking nice, dog. One, two, three, four, five, blade design. Okay, they're thick, but yeah, I'm feeling this design. It's the first time I've seen this design to these fans. Wow, these are very, very nice looking fans, man. Now I'm gonna have the specs for, you know, how fast they go and all that in, in the description because everything was in Chinese, so I got I, reading that. Very nice though, man. They look cool as hell. Very cool. Very cool, very thick blades, but the, the grommets, just the design itself, very sturdy plastic. Very nice design, very, very interesting. Oh, let me, I'm bugging the connectors. So we have our, um, our four pin connector over here, which is gonna plug into that, um, the splitter, the two way splitter, you're gonna plug this in and then you're gonna plug this in into this bad boy over here. And then you could daisy chain them with this male sticking out. So if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. Uh, so it is labeled here one through four, right? One through four, so, you know, put it however you want. So since you have, here you can put it like right here, right on one, and then you're gonna put two, and then if you have on the pump, that's gonna be your third one. And then if, you know, if you have anything else, you could put it here, as well as you could daisy chain other fans, you know, you could plug in. I could, since I have my, uh, perfect example, since I have my Asia Whores heat sinks, right? I did review that as well, I haven't. So I could daisy chain them and to cycle all of them if I want to through those effects. So I'm just giving you guys, you know, examples and if you guys are in the situation or could be in the situation. All right, anyways, now for the AIO. Now, it is a pretty interesting design. Whoa, it looks nice. Dang. Yo, shit looking nice. Wow, okay, I'm feeling this. Even the cable itself is nicely braided, bro. Look at this, man. Okay, with a white tip, <laughs> no doubt. All right, no doubt. Look, very, oh, this is not braided, but still it's white as well. Very nice. So we have the, um, the ARGB over here, and this is the, the three pin for the pump, or is it for the pump? Yeah, it is for the pump. 
Okay, so for the pump wires here, the color, the RGB effects is actually installed by the pump and the for the fan, it's um, for the pump, it's here. So I'm not sure, this is an interesting design. So how they have here, they have this shroud over here to lower the noise of the pump or something like that. That's what they're selling it on. It's actually very interesting. Last time I saw something like this was on Be Quiet. They had an, uh, they have an a um, AIO that has this similar design. So I definitely wanna check that out. But for 240, there's no literature. There's no uh, presentation saying it's Ego. We just have this, uh, we have this uh, mirror or shield, whatever you wanna call it over here which is plastic, which is gonna basically light up. And of course, when you're installing it, just make sure you peel this plastic and basically install it. But that's this, but I am feeling the braided cables and the, the, the tubes themselves are nice. This braided cable looking dope. I, I, for me personally, I kind of maybe wish they would have put a logo out here. You know, that's very subjective. I really don't care, but it's dope. This should light up. And I think with their logo, again, let me install it. Let me take a look. But so far, man, for the price, it's actually hitting. now. Of course, I do want it. We're gonna do performance tests. We're gonna do airflow, uh, airflow tests. So we're gonna do all that stuff and everything in the AIO reviews, guys. But anyways, let's go. So this right here is the backplate. This is your basic, typical AM4 backplate, right? So what I did basically, the backplate is there installed. I have a spare one. So you're gonna use. So if you're using a Ryzen chip, right? If you're using AM4, AM3, you're gonna use this basically. Uh, backplate all the compatibilities for different sockets i'll have that in the description below it'll be a lot easier for you guys as well so you're going to use this backplate right so what you're going to do is you're going to see where it says am4 you're going to take these screws right and then you're going to put the socket the am4 socket you're just going to slide it in right you're going to slide it into these grooves same thing if you're using intel right you're going to just slide it in. they just slide right in you're going to slide it in and then when you're installing it right you can just measure out the backplate to the holes and then you screw it in with these retention screws. That's it. That's the. That's how the. That's how it works with your AMD, and that's how it works basically with your Intel. You're just going to use a different socket, and you're going to use this backplate, which comes with the AIO, not this backplate or the backplate that basically comes with your Intel socket. So that's basically it. You're going to use this socket they give you if you're going to use AM4 or AMD chips. You're going to basically use your own socket. Uh, your own backplate and then you're going to screw it and that's it and these are the fan splitters so this is going for am4 as well as intel we just went over this and you're going to use um you're going to basically use these uh these brackets you're just going to slide them in same process boom slide in slide in and then that's it that's basically done and you're going to put the backplate and these additional screws uh you have your rad screws your fan screws just basically screws that they give you and this is the hub the hub very simple so if you are using your integrated ARGB, you're gonna plug this into your uh, MOBO, to your three pin MOBO, and then you're just gonna plug it in SATA, give it power, and then you're just gonna put the ARGBs, wh what I showed you guys, you're gonna put, you know, if you have four, you're gonna put two here, two here, and this is for the recess switch, we went over that, and that's basically it, that's, that's all the process. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and then the same thing here, what you're gonna do to here is you're just gonna plug one in, one end into the uh, hub, and that's basically it. And then this, and then you're gonna use the, um, and then you're gonna use the three pin, you're gonna plug plug it into any basically three pin. I believe this is just for the, this is for the pump, and these are for the your ARGB controllers. And this over here is to for, not this, this is some new stuff, at least for me, it's the first time I see it's for better noise dissipation as well as better cooling as well. So again, we will see that, but, the installation process, like I said, it's very simple, very straightforward. Um, the booklet, the instructional guide is not the best, I would say, but, you know, I basically got it, how it works. And, of course, I am going to use the Ego Thermal Paste. But, I mean, for me, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And, of course, I know I'm probably going to ask, you know, you guys are going to ask me which compatibilities. Look, obviously, it came in Chinese. I'll have everything in the description of all the different sockets and supports so you guys will all know and we all will be on the same page but anyways now let me install everything and fire this bad boy in and let's get into the OLED testing let's go so there's something i just want to go through guys pretty quick now when installing when using the uh, the shroud that basically the mounting bracket that basically comes with amd make sure you guys look of how the holes are lined up you see how the holes are lined up from the top and how the holes are lined up from the bottom make sure you install it the exact same way. So you're gonna use this bracket, is gonna go up top, well on this side, and then this bracket is gonna go on the bottom. So make sure it's lined up like that because if it's not lined up, you won't be able to basically screw in 
you know, basically to screw in the um, the pump itself, you, you know, because I, I had this I had this issue for a second. And I had to double check. I'm like, hey, is is this correct? For me, it was, and I actually just messed I messed it up. So then I just fixed it just to give you guys a heads up, make sure this is correct. It's pretty. I gotta say, it's a pain now for Intel. I'm not sure for Intel if there's another Intel. It looks actually pretty self-explanatory because they're all the same. But for AMD, the holes are actually lined up. Oh my God, this really had to happen. The holes are actually lined up a bit different and we have little cutouts here and a little different cutouts here. So make sure when you guys are installing it for AMDs particularly, this is mounted like that, then you're gonna mount it correctly. Now, this way that they went, I'll be honest with you, is not really user friendly, it's a pain. I wish they would just gave us the typical AMD mechanism, just clamping on on these things and that's basically it, make it that simple. Also another thing, the thermal paste, very grimy. Uh, they only gave you basically one time use of thermal paste, just one time and that's basically it. This shit no bueno man, that's mad grimy. Uh, Ego, come on, give us some more thermal paste. But yeah, I just wanna cover that guys one last time. Please make sure you're mounting it correct and make sure how you mount it is basically the way it's shown here. This goes like that, that goes like that, clamp it out and then basically slap the bad boy on. Now let's get to that. So I got everything installed, let's run through some RGB colors and of course let's talk about the pump noise. Now I have everything, like I said, through the, the restart button. So again, if you do this via the restart button, you're not gonna restart your computer. You're gonna basically color cycle. So if we just have this on rainbow, these, <clears throat> these fans here in the bottom, these are the Cool Moon uh, KB24s. I did review them, basically these up top. And these fans are the fans that came with the Ego AIO. So if I press the restart, you see all the colors basically all synchronized, right? So everything is red. That's pretty cool. I mean, you have the pump. Now, this is just like a, some mirror effect. It's absolutely dumb, honestly. This personal opinion, it just looks weird. And yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, you just have all these effects. You just press it and you have all these cool effects. Now these effects, I believe are coming from, because uh, I have them also plugged into the, I have them daisy chain basically. They're also plugged into the, uh, the, the, um, the, cool, uh, the what do you call it? The, uh, the GIM hub as well. So they're like all changing and whatnot. So I'm not sure exactly if these are effects are from there or there to be honest. I just have them all daisy chained, chained so they're all gonna synchronize with the with the uh, with the, the heat sinks, with the Asia Horse heat sinks. But basically I'm just show you the glimpse. These are the RGBs, this is how they look. Now the you know the logo there is the Ego logo, that's how it looks. It looks honestly a little weird, you know, like off angle, but it is what it is, it is there. The pump itself, now with the pump, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the fans and we're just gonna hear exactly how the pump sounds. So the fans are gonna be all turned off. The only fans which are gonna be on are these two fans which came with the AIO and let's just basically hear it. In my personal opinion, I think it sounds pretty good. It actually does sound very, very low. Now remember, I only have two fans running. Let me take off the glass and let's hear the pump noise again. All right, so the glass is removed. Let's hear how the pump sounds. Again, just the fans from the, ra from the radiator spinning, which came with the AIO. It's hella quiet, man. It's hella quiet and we're getting what, like around 35? Well, I have all the fans. So basically it was, it was idling at like around 30 Celsius. It's just going up a wee bit now. But it was idling at around 30 Celsius. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's noise-wise, it's performing pretty well, man. So I got the fans just spinning at max RPM. So their max RPM here, I have them at 1800. You know, they're fluctuating 1800 plus and minus. They're not that bad. I mean, we're gonna hear it right now, guys. Listen, man, for Chinese RGB fans, for everything that I tested with, yo, 1800? Again, one more time. They're doing a pretty hell of a job. Not bad. Now, at like 1200, I'm going to show you guys right now, 1200. All right, so basically right now I got them like at, what, what have we got? Like at 1300 RPM. Bro, they're really quiet. They're nice, man. Even at 15, and when I had them, they're, they're really good fans, I gotta say, man. These, I hope Ego makes these fans. I wanna review these fans. If you guys could find these fans that which came with this AIO, let me know 
in the comments, man, because I'm a cop them. I really want to review them. They're pretty fire fans, man. So I got everything up and running. Uh, one thing I want to point out is the pump itself, the max RPM, the pump goes up to is 5,200 RPM. Now, for some reason on Amazon, it says that the fans go up to 2,300, but as you guys saw, the max RPM for these bad boys are 1,800. Again, if you guys know the name or you guys find these fans, of course, let me know. One thing I want to mention, guys, is the, look, I don't want to get these comments. Are you young as your pump is mounted wrong, blah, blah, blah. Uh, your AIO is mounted, your rad is mounted wrong, blah, blah, blah. Look, I ain't got time for this, all right? Let me just break this down for you, cats, simply. I don't have low pro profile RAM. I would have put it up top for this case. It only supports with low profile RAM. I don't, these are regular heat sinks from Asia Horse. These things are absolutely beast. Can't talk about these things enough. You guys know that. So I just mounted it like this. I'm not going to flip it on the other side. I don't do that. I, that ain't, that ain't me. <laughs> We're going to go this way. I love how it looks. I love how it performs this way. Brother, man, let's go. Let's get, let's just talk. Let's get in the time. All right. So anyways, we got running here. What we got here? 55 minutes. 52 degrees Celsius, insane. We got a four gigs. This is the Ryzen 7 2700, uh, 2700X uh, uh, CPU. Again, at 52 degrees Celsius, absolutely insane at 55 minutes. This thing is a straight beast. Now what I basically wanna do is I wanna just run a valley in the background. I wanna get this hot, this card basically hot and just, you know, I want hot air just going everywhere in this case, as I say, everywhere in this case. And I wanna see how hot the CPU actually gets. But right now for a 240, man, it's performing honestly hella well, guys. All right, so I got this benchmark now, just looping over and over valley over here. We got an hour and four minutes, same thing, everything, same thing, four gigs in all cores. We got here, 57 degrees Celsius, absolutely insane. What's that, like five, four degrees difference? I just I just want it to get really hot as possible. So as you guys can see, man, 50 cents, 57 degrees Celsius, AIO is performing hella well. This is honestly, this is really a shock for a 240 for me to actually just, just kill it like this. Let me know what you guys think about this AGO. What is this? AT240 AIO. If you guys already have it, of course, let me know in the comments. I think this thing is absolutely fire, man. And like I said, guys, very important. I want to know these fans. If you guys let know these fans, man, let me know. But again, let me know what you guys think about the AIO. As always, guys, I'm Coach Tech. I'm going to catch you cats next time. Deuces.